we're going to comfort habit number two. All right. So before I post any of my other videos, this is the video that's the most important video. And I need to post this video because I want to make something abundantly clear. All right. In light of all the videos that I've made before this video, I need to post this one first. So this is one thing that I want to say that is more truth than anything else. First and foremost, politics kills friendships. Quicker than anything on this planet, politics kills friendships, which is the main reason why I keep my politics to myself. I, I generally don't try to bring this up when I'm in groups of friends because I love my friends. All of my friends, regardless of color, regardless of gender, regardless of height, regardless of how we have banter or whatever. And, you know, here's the thing. I, my friends have treated me way better than most of my family. Hell, my friends have done more for me than my family. Hell, my friends are more of my family than my friends. And to be honest, you know, politics kills friendships. I have mentioned this before. I'll mention it again. So if any of you who um, think that I'm offending you, or if I am offending you, let me first apologize for that. Because when I get on here and I start talking about racism and politics and shit, and some of you get offended very quickly. But I'm not always right on a lot of this shit. But when I go and give you a direction and you choose not to follow it, that's not on you. That's more or less on me. I am not here to change your opinion on who you vote for. I don't give a damn as long as you vote. But I will say this because as easy as it is for me to question your morals, it'll be easy for you to question mine. Now here's the thing. I want to make this statement fair and just and honest. There are some people who are going to support Trump. And ain't a damn thing I can do about it, except for respect their, their choice. You know, that's what those dog tags were put on me for, to respect your choice. Now, there are some people who aren't going to support Trump, mm -hmm. and my choice is to respect their choice. Because, again, even if I voted for Biden, I have specifically said that I wanted to vote for Elizabeth Warren. And most of that was because of her Native American heritage. Now, I'm part Native American. I'm also part black and I'm also part white. And I'm the last person on earth who has the right to be a racist. But I have every right to call out racist because I am the hybrid of the three societies of America before the immigrants and before everything else came in. Now, if I've pissed off any of my friends with these videos, let me apologize. I would hope that I could save or salvage our friendship. And if I can't, then I'm sorry. However... I can't change your view, and I'm not here to do that. I am here to answer or ask a moral question. But like I said, if it doesn't affect you directly, most people don't give a shit. And that's the truth. Dr. Martin Luther King said it best, and how we have received it and perceived it since the day he said it, since his passing, is how the world works. All right, one, if I say something, that offends you now and 20 years down there, then that's something that is a personal thing that either we're going to have to discuss or we're going to have to let it go. Because the one thing that no one can do is physically change someone's mind or opinion. A person has to change on their own opinion and their own mind. And that takes time. All right? So let me break it down for you. All right? One... You know, Biden's the only candidate I had left. That's, that's to keep that shit real. So that's why I voted for him. Because my three main choices were two dudes and one chick. And that chick was not called Mala Harris. It was Elizabeth Warren. I really wanted Elizabeth Warren to win this shit. Period. But I won't gonna give that vote to Trump. Not because of the fact that he has said some racist shit. He has done some racist shit to tribal people in which my ancestry is from. Now, granted, my ancestry is not Sioux. My ancestry is not Navajo. My ancestry is not Powhatan. So let me break that down for y'all who don't understand that. I am Cherokee. Cherokee is of Iroquois. 
power mm-hmm. tan was like Native American royalty. All mm-hmm. right? So when he's going around calling Elizabeth Warren Pocahontas, mm-hmm. it's very fucking unsettling. And I compared that with me being called chief by a white dude for three years at my job who may have been going through some shit. And as I said this in the video, I don't think the man was racist, but it was god awful offensive for him to keep calling me chief for three years straight. So if you don't think that's racist, that's your opinion. But you know why you don't think it's racist? Because it wasn't happening to you. And this is how things work. When it's not happening to you, when it's not affecting you directly, it's not racist. You know, because it's not happening to you. It's not smacking you in the face when you have to go to work every day and hear this guy berate you by calling you chief, which is highly offensive to people who are of Native American descent when you're not the chief. All right? If you're not Native American or if you don't know any Native Americans, we don't like that shit. All right? I'm not a full-blooded Native American, but we don't like that shit. Now, if it is affecting you in a negative manner, then... Mm -hmm. There you go. But see, when it's not affecting you in any manner is the point that I've been trying to make in these videos. See, people don't, um, let's see, people don't understand how racism works unless it affects them and their race directly. They don't look at how it affects white people, that some white people are racist. Not all white people, but some white people are racist. But... You have not heard me one time say that there isn't an equal amount of black people who are racist and Asian people who are also racist. You've heard me say that. When I make these videos, I don't leave nobody out. Nobody. When I talk about Trump, it's my personal opinion on Trump. You have yours, I have mine. I'm not going to like yours. You're not going to like mine. But politics kills friendships. It really does which is why I try to leave all that political bullshit at the door. Now, here on my channel, you know, I only have 103 of you guys, and some of you have left because I'm not a Trump supporter. I get it. I'm not mad at you for that. I don't care if you leave because you're a Trump supporter, because you're always welcome back. And election only comes once every four years. So sooner or later, there'll be an asshole that I'm going to vote for that you're not going to like. Like this year, me voting for Biden. He might be the asshole that you don't like. As I said again at the beginning of this video, I voted because I wanted Elizabeth Warren to win. The last time this happened, I voted for Clinton. I've made no apologies about that. I voted for Biden because Warren wasn't on the ticket and I wasn't going to vote for Bernie Sanders. If not Warren, then it was going to be the gay dude whose name I can't ever get right, Pete somebody. And the Asian dude, Andrew Yang. I liked the shit that they were spitting. Politics kills friendships. Really simple. Which is why I leave politics out of my friendships. If friends want to talk about voting, like, look, I honestly don't want to talk about that shit. Because I'd much rather have you as my friend, as my family, than have you mad at me because, hey, I'm not following this racist dude. Or... Maybe the guy I'm following is racist to you. And he very well could be. I haven't done enough research. Simple as that. I clearly haven't done enough research. But let's, 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 let's go back to what I initially said. I initially was voting for Elizabeth Warren. Okay? Understand her 1.16% of Native American blood is how she got me. Because once she proved it, the Pocahontas jokes were no longer valid. See, if you're not of Native American descent, you don't understand what a Native American insult is. So to call a woman a squaw, or to call a woman who's mixed Pocahontas, especially if that's not her real name, like my grandmother's nickname is Pocahontas, because she's actually Native American, raised by black people. She was adopted, so we're not really sure on that, as I pointed that out in all the other videos that I've made about my grandmother. Now, my grandma Bay and my grandma Ada on my father's side they are Native American. So, therefore, you know, they came from, literally came from the reservation in the Powell Height area or Poe White area. I'm never going to get that shit right. So, when Native American issues happen, you can bet your sweet ass, if I hear about it, I'm going to look into it. Standing Rock, there also was some shit going on in Canada that was kind of connected to Standing Rock. 
And that's still going on, just like Standing Rock is going on. Standing Rock's in court. The other shit, not sure, because it's Canadian. But there is a big, large group of Native Americans, different tribes, called First Nations, in Canada. You have Ojibwe, you have Chickasaw, you have a whole bunch of other ones up there. I think even Seminoles might be up there. Navajo might be there. Sioux might be there. That's why it's called First Nations, because there's so many different damn tribes up there. Mm. Now, here's the thing. Native Americans are biologically Asian. All right? So, you know, mm. I had to be taught this by an Asian. <laughs> mm. But politics, you know, politics mm. have brought more friends than anything else. And I have made a promise in my life that no matter who my friends vote for, I wouldn't let that kill my friendship. If my friends are voting for Trump, I'm not going to hate you for it. I'm not going to judge you for it. And I'm not going to sit there and say, well, damn, you know, you're a fucking Trump supporter. You're a dick. No. Because you personally probably feel the same way about me. I'm not really a Biden supporter. I support Elizabeth Warren. I lost. So I had to go with the next best thing. The lesser of the two evils. No. I can't guarantee you that Biden's the same. But I can also promise you that I'm not going to send you something about Trump that mm. I haven't seen in my 47 years of life that's not there. I can Google it for you and it can show up. And yeah, like all things, video can be doctored. I make films, remember? So I know videos can be doctored. Somebody can take everything I'm saying right now and make mm. me a Trump supporter tomorrow. The only thing they probably can't do is put this um, mm. shirt with the word Trump on it because it's the college in which I currently attend. But a lot of the people that I go to school with could secretly be Trump supporters. And they're just going with the norm because that's what people do. When people don't want you to know who they actually are affiliated with, they don't tell you the truth. They lie. I don't. That's the problem. It, I've lost a lot of good friends with telling the truth. Simply put. I don't believe that you should lie to people. I think that you can probably give them 99.9 versus the whole 1,000, but I don't think that you should ever lie to people, ever. Because mm. unless you're committing a homicide or a genocide, you probably shouldn't lie to people, you know? And also, politics just is just one of the things that, given a choice, talk politics or talk about vaginas. I'm looking more towards those vaginas. Mm. I could care two shits about politics. All right? Plus politics rhyme with dicks. But vaginas, they taste delicious. Politics tastes like sandpaper and dirt. I think I'd rather have the vagina sandwich versus politics. Mm. So let me, let me be clear. All right? I do not hate anybody mm. who leaves this channel because you are a Trump supporter. That is your God-given right. Mm. When I joined the Army... I joined the army and took the oath of service. Obama was still in charge. Obama, who you don't see me condemn, so let me do that for you right now. Mm. Obama has done shit. Mm. It's less becoming. He also turned away mm. a fuck ton of immigrants. Granted, he didn't take them from their children, but he did turn their asses away. No. Not like the Ilian Gonzalez thing. And I don't remember what president was in charge when that happened. Mm -hmm. But, not like that. But he didn't even let, like, people from, like, back black mm -hmm. countries come in to this country. So, reverse racist? Hell yeah. But also remember, Obama's mixed. Now, border shit with Obama. I don't recall that mm -hmm. much. But I do recall him turning people the fuck away. Mm -hmm. Now, that were refugees, mm -hmm. matter of fact. No, turned them away. No, you can't come into America. Fuck that shit. You're not coming in here. He got a lot of flack for that shit by black people. By me. Now, I will say this. Everything that Obama also tried to do for the country, for the people, was also mm -hmm. shut down. Mm -hmm. But we forgot about that. And then we bitched at him about trying to give us all universal health care with Obamacare. But we forgot about that. Which, by the way, I still can't afford. But in the military, Obama took away the don't ask, don't tell thing, which made it more of an integrity problem. Mm -hmm. But there are still active gays and transgenders in the military. 
but now they have to tell everybody. And I was like, okay, because it's unconstitutional for you to keep this a secret after you take that oath, after your warrior ethos says that um, loyalty, wrong wallet. Just so that everybody knows, mm. you know, you have these things, uh, loyalty, duty, respect, self-service, honor, integrity, personal courage. Well, mm. our president wanted our soldiers to apparently work on that personal courage thing by making sure that they were outed. Was that a good idea? Fuck no. But Obama did it anyway. Got rid of the don't ask, don't tell shit. And if you're going to be in the military now, you have to let them know. Yeah, you're gay. Or you're transgender. You had to do that. Because it was an integrity issue. And it was personal courage. So, if you're going into the military, uh, don't ask, don't tell. I don't know if they brought that back. But when I was in, that was the thing. So, I was in the military and didn't know that they had removed that. No. Didn't nobody tell me. I'm face down in Sand Hill. No, hey, drop and give us 20. Finally in the rest position. That's all I knew. Finally in the rest position. Russian does That kind of shit. Mm -hmm. But Obama did try to do shit for the military before he left. He got on the ass of every military hospital and fired the Filipino guy who was the scapegoat for all the shit that wasn't supposed to be going on that the Filipino mm -hmm. guy did not do his job, supposedly. All right. Now, he was a scapegoat. The Filipino guy was a scapegoat. People would say that that was racist because Obama fired an Asian man at the top of his game of you need to be checking on your subordinates at these military hospitals because veterans aren't getting treated right. Veterans aren't being seen on time. Veterans are being forced to drive six hours to a veteran hospital versus the hospital that's two hours or versus the hospital that's one hour. How do I know this? Because I... Couldn't give up my spot to a World War II vet when I was in um, McGuire before my hip replacement. I wanted to give up my spot. And it's like, no, you can't give up your spot. This guy should have been here on time. Mind you, this guy had to drive all the way from the southern or the right tip of Virginia, between Virginia and Tennessee. And instead of him being able to go to the Stanton Military Hospital, which is like fucking right there, they ordered him to go to McGuire, which is like five or six hours, and he was in a wheelchair, and he had to be driven there, and it's like, why are you making him come all this way here when there's a fucking hospital right there? But they didn't do that. So yeah, Obama fired the Filipino guy because he wasn't going around making sure that all the military hospital people in charge were doing the fucking job, and World War II veterans were suffering. All right, as a vet, I can speak to that. And then I have a family that has served all of my uncles on my mom, except for one, has served my uncle on my father's side. He has three brothers. Only two are alive now, but only one of those two served. My father tried to serve. He didn't make it. My uncle Bruce, I think he just went there for the free drinks. But they still attempted to serve, where my uncle Robert served valiantly, came home. Mm -hmm. Understand that when you have a president that says bad things about mm -hmm. veterans, it's not becoming for veterans. As a veteran, I was offended with the code talkers and him calling out Elizabeth Warren Pocahontas. There's a video. It'll be posted here. As a veteran, I have mm -hmm. a problem with him saying that John McCain was a sucker and a loser because he was a POW. As a veteran, for him to say anything like that about any veteran who has served when he has not, it is offensive. This is another reason why politics kill friendships. Because a lot of people don't seem to understand. If you haven't served, if you haven't put those dog tags on, if you haven't run up and down around and had mm -hmm. to do push-ups because you saluted the wrong officer or a cadet, thinking that it was an officer because of the Black Beret, and no, that's not the guy you're supposed to salute, and then you're dropping and giving him 20. It's a different ball game. The military is a different ball game. You know, it's a whole different world. And anybody who served deserves way better than for somebody in charge of people who are serving to be told that we 
are suckers and losers. Because that's, like, bullshit. You know? So, again, politics kill friendships. I'm not going to let politics kill mine. And, you know, again, I apologize to any of my friends that I am offending with any of these videos if you're a Trump supporter. Hey, I'm still your friend. We may have um, butt head on a few issues, but I also understand how this works. As I said in one of the videos that I posted way before, a lot of people who follow Trump follow him because of this shit right here. It's got nothing to do with the fact that he's a racist. Mm -hmm. It's got the fact that he's keeping their pockets fat. Mm -hmm. He's keeping them with deep pockets. And if that's why you're following him, mm -hmm. I can respect that. But you can respect the fact that I am not wrong about the racist shit that has come out of his mouth. About how he kept calling Elizabeth Warren Pocahontas. That's racist. He even said it in front of Navajo code talkers. Which I've showed you guys the video. And if you haven't seen it, you will. Uh, this, the Central Park Five, who were proven innocent. Five black kids who allegedly raped a woman. But was proven by DNA years later to be innocent. That he wanted dead. And he's not man enough to say, I'm sorry. But I guess that doesn't count as racist. Because if you're not black, and for mm. the blacks who are following him, that's what that is. We got 50 Cent and Ice Cube. Mm. Rappers that I adore. Mm. We got Ted Nugent and Kid Rock. Mm. Singers that I loved. So it better be about their wallets. Because if they're secretly racist, then we got a problem with four entertainers that I like very much. 50 Cent, if you're a reverse racist. I won't be buying any more of your albums. Mm. Chad Newton, Kid Rock, if you're mm. both racist, I won't be buying your mm. albums. Because the racist shit that has come out of Trump's mouth. And then there's Standing Rock. And then there's 1993, they don't look like Indians to me. And then my favorite, because this Asian reporter is actually mm. from Virginia, and he goes, why don't you ask China? And she came back at him, you know, why did you say that to me? No. That shit was racist. And also, to all my Asian friends who that shit has put in danger. My Asian mm. friends that are in New York mm. right now that I have to worry mm. about because one of them takes pictures for a living. Mm. He's like a younger brother to me. I met him when he was a student here at the university. Now, my other boys that are Chinese, I ain't got to worry about them because they will kick somebody's ass. Period. We made movies together, and they are great martial artists. Great martial artists. I ain't got to worry about them. But the one that takes pictures. And then there's the girls who were not Chinese, but were also in my movies that make films that are from Springfield, Virginia. They are from Vietnam. But there are a lot of racist people who don't know that not all Chinese people are from China. Or that not all Asian people are from China. I worry about their safety. And I don't want to lose friendships over some shit that I've said here, but I've also put out facts also that I've said here. Now, granted, my facts might not be a thousand percent, or people just don't want to believe them, and that's fine. I believe in God, but I don't have the right to throw that shit down your throat. No, I can't make you believe in God. But I also believe in Bigfoot. I also believe in Coyote the Trickster, the Deer Woman, Sasquatch. Uh, Thunderbird. I believe in a lot of Native American deities, but I also believe in Egyptian deities. I also believe in Greek deities. There's no gods above the God or the Great Spirit, as most tribal people teach. I believe that Christianity has its place. I believe that Baptist has its place. I believe that Buddhism has its place. But I also believe that I don't have the right to force any of those religions down your throat. But I do have the right to tell you the truth. Now, I can't give you 99.9 .9 without it hurting your feelings. Point blank. I give you the whole 1,000 council culture. That would be the answer for that. But most people, if you're white and you're following Trump, it's because of your wallet or you're secretly a racist. If you are black and you're following Trump, it's because of your wallet or you're secretly a reverse racist. If you are Asian and you're following Trump, it better be because of your wallet and the fact that he has not reached your Asian race yet. But for all my Asian friends that are in danger because of him saying the Chinese flu or Kung flu, the things that y'all don't consider racist, that I consider racist, here's the thing. 
what I consider racist, you might not consider racist. And my dumb ass didn't think that all the way through before I started making these videos. I really didn't. Because a lot of things people don't think as racist. And you know why they don't think it's racist? It's because it hasn't hit them directly. So, this is my apology to all my friends who are Trump supporters. This is my apology to all my friends who are Biden supporters. Somewhere along the middle, we have to figure out how this shit works. But we cannot deny the unequivocal truth. I'll say it for you, because y'all won't say it. Trump has said some racist shit. Biden has made one racist statement that he has recovered from. And that racist statement, as I'm going to say it, if you don't vote for Biden, then you're not black. And people have come down on him just in case y'all didn't think that that was going to happen. Yes, black people have come down on him. Lots of black people have come down on Biden about that one, one fuck up. But no one has come out and said shit to Trump about Pocahontas. Mm -hmm. No one has come out and said shit to Trump about mm -hmm. how he reallocated Obama's protection on Standing Rock and how he got rid of it. No one has come out and said, what about the Central Park Five? They've been proven innocent. Are you going to apologize for wishing that they were dead? No. No one's going to do that. So again, let me apologize to all of my friends and everyone on my channel who are Trump supporters that I have offended. Mm -hmm. Because I'm sorry. I send you in a direction. I can't make you believe it. And like I said, videos can't be doctored. They can be. So maybe some of the shit that I'm watching has been doctored. But it doesn't change the fact that I saw it. Mm -hmm. Alright? Now... Just in case, before you go um, thinking that some of the shit has been doctored, I will tell you uh, the Navajo thing and the Pocahontas thing, they haven't been doctored. Mm. All right? The Central Park Five thing, it hasn't been doctored because guess what? Back when that happened and it was on live TV, I watched that, which is why it was difficult to find it on these damn YouTube and social media shit because that shit didn't exist back then. Mm. Now, big kicker, big kicker, the 1993 thing about Native Americans and casinos. That also was live. And I had to find that shit. Now, those that I saw live can't be unseen. Can't be doctored from my memory. Everything else, yeah, we can doctor a few things. We can doctor a tape about Billy Bush and me riding on a bus. And me telling mm -hmm. Billy Bush that I'm rich and powerful and I can grab women by the vagina. Those were not the words he used. Those are the words that I'm appropriating. But Billy Bush lost his job. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump became the president. And women still vote for this guy. Even though somehow or another, that didn't sound sexually oppressing to women that I'm rich and powerful and I can grab them by the vagina. And when you're really rich, you might even get to sleep with them. Of course, I added that one in there. To prove that videos can be doctored. Before I go, if you don't find this apology equitable, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. If I have offended you, I'm sorry. When I do kung fu films, when I do kung fu movies, let me um, put this down before I go. Every kung fu movie that I was making, every kung fu mm -hmm. miniseries that I had mm -hmm. made before it got stolen, my character plays a mixed character. In Fallen Dragons, I'm half black, Native American, and Chinese. And in that story, I have a brother who came with a father who gave him everything. I'm the illegitimate child that my brother in Asia knows about me, but his mom doesn't. I'm the love child. Brother and I are born about the same time. And if I find that movie, I'm going to post it on here. I promise. But, in the movie, because it's also sitting somewhere in a desk in a studio in Petersburg that they never gave back to me on a VHS tape. In the movie, the story is supposed to be based around my racial journey of being half Chinese, black, and Native American and going to college and giving up blood so that these super soldiers can exist. Well, these super soldiers came back to kill us or take our blood so they could find a cure because 
the serum was wearing off and they were going to age rapidly. All right, don't take that. That's my idea. And if you do take that, you're going to pay me and everybody that was in that movie. All right, period. So if something like that comes out, I mentioned it here first. It's called Fallen Dragons, and I have the actual thing somewhere around here. Now, in everything else that I've done, Dragon's Breath, I play a kid who's half Chinese and half black. Because if Joan Chen can be a Native American, then I can be half Chinese. So, in that movie, Kit, or Koei, whichever one I was using at that time, is a victim of racism and other shit. Mm-hmm. Fight scenes, all that shit. Uh, when I did the cleanup with Lewis, I just played a black man. At least I think I played a black man. It was my movie though, so I don't know. Um, when I did a clone affair, I played one guy mm-hmm. who had to fight himself, and me and Jay Diz were both black men. Mm-hmm. And everything was green screened. So before Gemini Man came out, I did that shit. It was cheap and ugly, but I did that shit. And I have that movie, I just can't make it play on today's technology. Now, let's see. Um, What's the other one? I did Mm -hmm. Path of Ascension. And in that, I was half Cherokee and half black. And I owned a lot of land, and I was a superpower person with the power of air. And I had to go against water, earth, and fire. And you can go see that Mm -hmm. on Kung Fu Havoc number one. Now, Kung Fu Havoc number two was supposed to be the launching pad for Guardians of the Earth, which I would be back as the Air Master. J. Diz, CLS, my bro Courtney was playing the bad guy, my bro Rodney was playing the the drone, and my new bro Mm -hmm. Prince Octavius was playing Steel. And my boy Charles, who Mm -hmm. got killed in the first episode because he didn't want to come up to work, and my friend Dustin, who also got killed in the first episode because they didn't want to come to work, they all were playing superheroes. But my superhero was mixed. Everybody else was black, but we were all empowered with godliness. So, then, minus that, as had to just talked, minus that, you know, we, we had everything set to go. And when you get to the movie, if you get through the movie... You, oh, it's actually a TV show. It was supposed to launch my career, which didn't happen because some asshole in Alabama has it. They have the whole cut wherever they are, and they still haven't sent it back to 512. I'm never going to see that movie again. And all the tapes in the world down there, I have a fuck ton of editing to do, and I can't mm-hmm. use this machine to save my dick. Mm-hmm. My Scarlet Spider mm-hmm. fan film mm-hmm. is stuck because now it won't log and capture. Mm-hmm. So yeah, having issues, people. Be lucky if I get this shit uploaded by Thanksgiving. Anyway, that being said, politics do kill friendships. And I'm trying not to do that. Which is why I made this video after I made all the other videos. Because mm-hmm. the person that um, follows me, mm-hmm. and which I love, I don't want to ruin our friendship doing a Trump supporting mm-hmm. thing. I'm not going to name them. I don't do that. I don't put anybody's real names or full names out. I might give initials and shit, but in this case, you know, I really like this cat, and he's cool as fuck, so I'm not going to do that at all. No. And if he chooses not to follow me, it's cool. No. Still good friends. And if we're not, then it'll be on his end, not my end. But the point of the matter is, and I also, um, straight, you know, a lot of people who we are friends with are secretly Trump supporters. Just because you don't know it doesn't mean it's not real. I am truthful in all the shit that I do. I do not support Trump. I would not make these videos against Trump if I had love for Trump. I do not love this bastard. I could care two shits about him. And if he wins tonight, we're just going to have to deal with it. Simple as that. However, I do have a video on here that if you live in Virginia, you might want to get a little bit scared because if Trump loses, that video is going to show you what I found today you're going to need to be worried. And if you're not worried, worry has kept me alive for a very long time. I don't believe in gun violence against anyone. But I have a bow and arrow. No. Don't might not have time to shoot everybody, but I have a bow and arrow. But I don't believe in that kind of violence. I believe in using these. Anyway, that being said, I apologize one more time for giving you 35 minutes of your life that you can't take care of. 
looking at my mixed breed face. Until the next time, come for having number two. Be seeing you.